What's up guys, James here, and now time for some school, some learning. We're going to be taking a look at Google Analytics. Hey, it doesn't matter what you do, whether you're a vlogger, you're a gamer, whether you like to give reviews on soap, this is where you're going to need to look and be a lot to grow your channel. To become the next icon in YouTube, you're going to have to use the heck out of Google Analytics. So let's take a look at it and get kind of familiar with it. The way things are set up, I'm actually I'm going to be doing this from the Gaming Heretic channel. I won't be doing it from the school channel. This gives a kind of an overlook, overview. Now, for those who don't know, I run the Gaming Heretic channel. It's a gaming channel, and uh, we're going to be going through it. So, from the top, of course, we're in the overview, as I've stated a dozen times. Comparison is a neat little tool that we'll be using for a couple minutes. It allows you to compare two different dates. So, that's something that will be very useful if you kind of want to compare what you've done versus what you're doing now. Groups uh, allows you to set up specific video groups that will watch specific videos. So if there are different videos that you have that you don't want to set up in a playlist but you want to see how they do together, you can create a video group which will then give a overview that you can take a look. You can even create entire playlists that you can put together just to see how the playlists do together as well. Download report Download report is similar. Uh, it actually allows you to download all of the information you see here into an Excel. It can give more information, but if you're not into analytics, it can get confusing. This is very user-friendly, whereas the Excel document is not. So let's take a look at the comparison. Now one of the things that I did when I was putting this together is this channel has existed for about a year. We only got serious in making it the next YouTube review channel last month. So since then, I've been working as hard as I can to increase the views, increase all of the minutes watched, things of that nature. So let's say that I wanted to take a look at last month in comparison to this month to see how we're doing. Last month is in blue. This month is in orange, I guess. And as you can tell, I'm already doing very well when it comes to both views and minutes watched. People are watching more than they did last month. Last month is when I got serious, but now I'm taking all of those lessons and I'm putting it forward. You can see from last month, though, I'm having a dip in likes. So that would be something that to look more into. Now, we're already not very far into this month, so this information is about useless until we get halfway or a little bit more. But this is just a way to take a look to where you can compare it. If you wanted to, you can actually set your own custom ranges as well. But let's get rid of that. Let's do the last 30 days. Now everything's looking good for the Game of Heretic channel. You can tell I'm up 139% and I have 148, up 148% or 5 days and 20 hours of what people have watched. People actually watch that much. One of the big things you'll need to take a look at is the top 10 videos, right? Because this is going to tell you what people are watching the most. And for me, you can tell it's Gamer Girls Magazine. Now, this is a rant that I had. And then Women in Gaming, our first podcast that we did. The Ice Bucket Challenge, Dealing with Haters, that's a skit. So what this is actually telling me is it seems like there are a lot of people looking for topical information. And specifically, when it comes to feminism or gamer girls, that goes off the roof. People are watching this in spades. And see, here's the feminist, another skit that we did right here, which was feminism Call of Duty style TGH skit. Okay, then, once we looked at this, so what I've got from this is people enjoy when I do the topical stuff, and they're really big into feminism and women in games. So let's look at our demographics. The top geography, so it looks like the United States loves me, along with the United Kingdom. No surprise there. 92% of males and only 8% of females. That's up from what it used to be. I used to have no females that watched the channel. Now, where are people watching us from? This is kind of a big deal right here. Most people are watching from the YouTube watch page, which is either my specific page or from like their subscriber. No, I'm sorry, it's from the subscriber point or when they're looking it up through SEO. Uh, less than 2% are, are looking at my channel and looking at it. I do use a lot of, uh, I do put my channel 
on Facebook. I put it on different mediums like Twitter. So 2% of all my views are coming from there as well. Now, that seems like a small amount, but 3% of 2,947 views is still quite a few views. I, I would definitely want it. Where are people coming from? I use the heck out of SEO. So I put all kinds of tags, I make sure it's topical, I make sure it's what people want, and that is paying off. 33% of everything I get comes from the YouTube search. YouTube suggests 16% of the time, 12% they don't know, and other 39, and that's probably subscriber and other ports. So that's a brief overview of the Google Analytics, the overview itself. Let's go to views. This helps pinpoint a little bit better what's going on. Now, what I enjoy doing is coming down here and clicking on that button. This is a good overview. This gives you more of an understanding of what people are watching, what specific channels, what specific uh, videos. And it's, it's the same thing we saw beforehand. So people are liking Gaming Girls, Gamer, Gamer Girls Magazine Cowardice. And when they're watching it, it gives you an average view of the duration of what people are watching. One of the things I noticed when I was looking through mine is that most of them are under three minutes. So I've started addressing that. I've started making videos that are five minutes or less, with the exception of our podcasts, which stay an hour to two hours. But all the others, if you've watched my videos, you've seen that they went from being really long to starting to get shorter. Again, the only difference is, is I won't do that on podcasts and I won't do that on game reviews themselves. Up here, you can take a look and see what people are watching, what people are very interested in, and get the specific breakdown itself. And then this brings down the estimated minutes. You can search for your specific videos and information that you want right here, or where, what region, if that's important to you. I've never found a use for search for locations, but that doesn't mean that you can't or don't have a use for it. Demographics are pretty interesting and actually very necessary for what I do. So if you take a look, 92% of males like me and 8% uh, of females, or well, I say like, but watch, I guess. Most of the people who watch me are in the 25 to 34 years age range. So middle-aged people are watching my channel more and more. So if I take a look and go back to views, you can tell that I'm somewhat People call it pandering, but I think it's making content for the people who are watching my shows. Gamer Girls Magazine Cowardice, Women in Gaming, Ice Buck Challenge, Dealing with Haters, which is a funny little skit, No Going Back, The Walking Dead. All of this, Sex for Reviews, all of this is more a more mature audience. The 25 to 34 or 35 to 44. Because if you add those two together, that's over 70% of people who watch me. That's not to say that I won't make things for, won't make videos for 18 to 24, but I definitely think of 25 to 44 when I'm putting a video together. Playback locations, it's more of, it gives you a better breakdown of what we were seeing in the overview. And again, YouTube watch page is what it's all about. That's where most everything comes from. They are viewing it here more and they watch longer when they're there. Uh, the other places, not as, uh, not as prevalent. Traffic sources is very, very helpful in the information that you're looking for. So, YouTube search, 972 views, 33% of all of my videos come from search. SEO is devastatingly important to my channel. I use SEO, I use it well, that's where I need to continue focus. Because when they're searching it, they're watching it. Uh, for, let's see, what is it, second or third longest when they're searching for it. YouTube Guide, which is from the YouTube homepage, subscription feeds, all of that. So that's what we expect. That's the 16%. Unknown Direct, I hate the Unknown Direct. That basically it means YouTube doesn't know, and they're not really going to go out of their way to try to find out. YouTube Channel Page, YouTube Page itself, External Websites. 
And this is what I'm saying. Don't discount how many views this is. So it's only 8%, but that's 249 views. 730 minutes or 2 minutes and 55 seconds. That's like fourth in line. So even if you see something 6%, 8%, 3%, that doesn't mean that it's not getting you a ton of views or a ton of minutes watched. It just means it's 3% of the total, which can still be a lot. YouTube video annotation. I annotate all of my videos, but as you can see, it doesn't really get me barely anything. I mean, that's still 14 views I wouldn't have gotten, or 19 minutes that wouldn't have been watched, but still. I, what I think is going to happen, though, is next month, I'm going to take a look at this. This will get higher as my minutes go down, because people aren't staying for the entire video. Devices is neat. I have never found a use, I'm going to be honest, for this, chat, for this specific one. Uh, most people watch computers. The only thing I guess I could think is, is I notice a lot of people use mobile phones. So if I did videos based on mobile phones, they might be interested in content. So if you're a channel that likes to do a lot of tech stuff, you come here and you see that most people are watching you on tablets or gaming consoles, then you might want to do something based on tablets or gaming consoles. Audience retention is pretty cool as well. It tells you what people are watching and how long they're staying. So Women in Gaming has the most minutes watched, and 9 minutes, or 16% of the entire show is being watched, which is pretty cool, but it's not a lot. So take a look at this one. Gamer Girls Magazine. That's only a 4-minute clip. People are staying through half of it. So if it's longer, they only do 16. They're staying through half. Strategies is a 20-minute, only 34% of that. So the lower I get, the more people watch. I need to lower my times on my videos. Something that's pretty cool too is that if you click here, you can actually see. All right, and we all you can click. I'm sure that you know it, it right there, which is pretty awesome. Another thing that is pretty cool too is if you do views and you look at it, it'll tell you from where they come from which I always found interesting, like five people in Puerto Rico. Love that. Subscribers gives you a hint of how subscribers go, where you're getting them, what days. And I've only had three in the past couple of days, which is up 300%, so I guess that's good. Likes and dislikes, so you can tell not only who's liking it, but where they're liking it. So Australians apparently hate they apparently hate what I do, but those in the United States love it. And apparently Saudi Arabia isn't against it either. So this kind of gives you an understanding of where they are, what they're coming from. Favorites. Favorites aren't used as much as they used to be. A lot of people, favorites back in the day were vital. Now not a lot of people use them at all. Comments shows you where they're commenting. And then if you click on it, it'll show you when they commented. Sharing and annotations as we went through. And it's interesting here because it'll show you where the clicks are. Like seven clicks here, right? And again, the lower channel gets more clicks on the annotation. So you see, even just looking through this as a tutorial for you guys, I'm realizing I gotta get my videos below. Most of my videos are anywhere from five to fifteen minutes. I have to get them lower than that because I'm going to get more interaction. My channel will go up higher because the more they click on the annotations, the more they stay with the minutes watched, the more YouTube increases uh, my ranking in what pulls up when using SEO. So it is absolutely vital. All right, guys, so this has really just been a brief explanation of how this works, what to look for, kind of just going through step by step. So let me know what you think, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. What you guys want to see next, we'll be doing more tips like this going forward. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on School.